Hasselblad just announced this. X1D Mark II 50C. Just like the three year old Mark I, Hasselblad X1D Mark II is a 50 megapixel medium format beast that shoots 16 bit photos with 14 stop dynamic range. But compared to X1D, it has more powerful processor, 43% bigger and better responsive touchscreen. The electric viewfinder has 55% more pixels. It turns on faster, shoots 2.7 frames per second instead of two. The user interface is improved. The battery now can be charged via USB-C port. The dual memory card slot supports UHS-2. The GPS is now built in. And using the new Focus Mobile 2 app, App, you can import edit your images on your iPad instantly so all those improvements on a camera that already costs nine thousand dollars of course nudge the price a little bit well hold on to something because X1D Mark II costs $5,750. Yes, more than $3,000 cheaper than the first generation Mark I X1D. But how is that possible? Well, the first generation of a product is always more costly. And it's been three years since Mark I came out. So the hands built this got more experience. Excuse me, are you a model? Sometimes. Sometimes. Would you like to model for Hasselblad X1D Mark II? Sure. Let's do it. We're done. Have a nice day. Thank you. That's why it's called Mark II. The differences are smaller but much needed stuff that I wished X1D had, except for the price. The price went down so much. Excuse me, do you model? <laughs> yeah, usually I do. Have a nice day. Yeah. Hasselblad makes different breed of cameras. These cameras are so good looking. You actually want to take photos of this. And then when you need inspiration, you can just stare into this fantastic design this ergonomic handmade beautiful x1d this new color is just beautiful and it differentiates this one from the first one and 4116 when you're shooting with a Hasselblad if someone approaches you it's very likely that they know what you have in your hand and you'll probably have a really pleasant conversation so that's the Hasselblad gang. I'm sorry. Do you model? Yes. Now I'm going to switch lenses. And with this setup, it's going to take forever. So let's switch to 21 millimeter at 4 I got it, I got it. Don't do it, don't do it. It's good. <laughs> All right, now we're on the 21 millimeter lens. Perfect. Hasselblad also announced this. 35 to 75 f 3.5, 4.5 zoom lens. This is the ninth lens in the X system, but it's the first one that has the zoom capabilities. You can use this from portrait to landscape. So if you're tired of changing lenses like I am right now, because we have so much stuff, you can just put this on and use it accordingly. Also the leaf shutter in this sounds a little different. I like it. It's different kind of a nutcracker, if you will. I gotta say, it's a little massive, but it gets the job done. That's nice. Of course, there's an addiction to prime lenses, but this is not bad at all. Let's see here. This is 35. And then this is 
75. I think it's good. Also with this new Hasselblad, you can use the USB-C port to charge the battery, which is a very important feature. When I was reviewing X1D, and while we were in Venice Beach for the sunset, when the battery died, that was it. I didn't have an extra battery with me. That was the end of the shoot. And I missed probably one of the best sunsets ever. Luckily, we had the phones and stuff to take photos, but I missed taking a photo of it with the Hasselblad. But with this one, that's no more an issue. You can just plug your external battery. You can leave this for time-lapse. You can just charge it easily. When it comes to video, the video part is not activated on this device that I have in my hand. But I hear that it's going to be a little bit better than 1080p because it has the new and powerful processor which uses a lot less power. That's why it can support this bigger and brighter screen and bigger and better EVF. It has 117 focus points and now you can change them easily by tapping and if you double tap it zooms in so you can adjust the user interface of Hasselblad X1D has been great and they made minor changes on this one to make it even better for example when you tap on this now you have your self timer interval and exposure bracketing right there and you tap on this and it's here and then you can change your settings but it still doesn't have in-body image stabilization or a flip up screen also the hdmi port is gone on the other side the gps module is now in the camera so you have the hot shoe to yourself now it lets you shoot jpeg only before this was not in the selection it's a beautiful sunny day. It's the second day of summer. So now we're going to walk around and see what we can get. Even though the image quality is identical to X1D, I think the improved menu, aluminium dials instead of the plastic ones, the faster processor, the less blackout time, and the new price makes X1D Mark II a fantastic Hasselblad. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please! Hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it. And join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Hasselblad X1D Mark II and 35 to 75 zoom lens in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And hoşçakalın. Hoşçakalın.